CX in the chat. How's everybody doing today? It's been uh, it's been about eight days now. Here, let me fix this. One second. One second. How does that look? It's been eight days now, huh? It's been a while. That's fucking ridiculous. Is it still upside down? Hmm, okay, one sec. Let me just reclose this app. Welcome back, you son of a bitch. Seven, 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 seven. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, hmm. Excuse me. Why the fuck are you upside down? I have no idea. This shit scuffed as fuck. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just do this. Because this shit is scuffed. There you go. That should look a lot better. Mmm. How's that? Is, that? is that a lot better, chat? Been watching for over two years now. Love you, bro. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been eight days. That's crazy, huh? So, it's and I haven't made any updates, and I've been completely dark <laughs> for the past eight days. Um, I mean, there's not really a reason why, more so than my own self dissentment into madness. I mean, it's all just another day, isn't it? And there's not really much else to say with that. I have my own self, um, what's the fucking word? I have my own self, uh, findings to do. And there's been a lot of, uh, there's, there's, the, there's the thing about entertainment. There's a thing about entertainment that is very, CX in the chat. That is very annoying or very hard. And that is, you must put yourself out there and you must give yourself to the people to create entertainment. And that, unfortunately, I cannot do with my mindset that I have. But, as you see by the title, this could be a road to something. Perhaps me feeling better. I don't know. I don't feel bad. I don't really know what it is. I'm only just an outer shell of myself, of what, of what I once have been. And it's been a very tough and excruciating road. And it's gonna be in a tough and excruciating further road. And I've come to one way to try to get myself back onto a better path. I would like to travel and you know how we have done the three day streams before I would like to do that again unfortunately it's going to be a very hard path to take because and I want to do something like that because it is very difficult to go live I've been sitting R.I.P. Snoopy she lived a good life. I have been sitting Who in the Who knew he needed water? Owning pets is hard sometimes. I'm pause this for a sec. I have been sitting in this car for over an hour trying to muster up the ability to hit the go live button. It's very difficult. Because I know when I go live, I must give myself when I should not give myself. And then, you know, obviously expectations let, are let down and things happen, which is very unfortunate. 
but that's why I wanted to do a long three-day sort of stream somewhere, because I fear that when I turn the stream off, that, uh, the viewers will not see me for a while again, because it's very difficult to muster up the ability to go live. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it's going to be a hard path to go down, especially with the expectations that are had for me. Because I can't not work. I should work. I should do what I need to do. But understanding that I can't hit the expectations makes it very difficult. Because at the same time as working, it only dwells myself down into further madness. Which is one path to take. And hopefully I'm strong enough to overcome that. In case none of you know what I'm talking about. Don't worry, you're not supposed to know what I'm talking about. Some people want to see me, so I wanted to go live. Some people, you know, they miss the streams, want to go live. I can't fill your expectations. I can attempt to, but I, coming from me, I cannot. I've been trying to figure things out, personally, and you know, stream-wise things. Working on getting an office, working on personal issues. And it's a very, very hard thing to do. Because for this path I am alone in. Which is fine. Self-revelation only takes one person. And it's a very lonely path. Because nobody else really truly knows who you are. Only you know who you are, truly, deep down. And I've been seeking therapy. And I actually talked to one yesterday. And I talked to another one, or I talked to the same one tomorrow, as well, again. Will that help? I don't know. But maybe they can open up a new perspective for me. One that I haven't seen before. Because I have many issues with perspectives. And I truly can only see my own perspective at this time. And it's very, very difficult to go day by day in a normal fashion with only one single perspective. No. Kimberly hasn't left me. I see that people are concerned about that. That is not the case. Every day that goes by, it's not neutral. It's not good news. Every day that goes by, when I wake up from sleeping, only bad news ever comes my way. And it's all just caught up with me. And my brain has just gone into shock. And I'm completely numb to the entire world at this point, which isn't fun. And uh, I see people around me that I would consider either good people or just neutral people. They like to take advantage of whatever situation they have seen, though. At an attempt to one-up themselves uh, for their own selfish, um, personal revelation. And to those people, all I have to say is, it goes away. And then you realize what happened. 
and what you did, and it hurts you deep down. <laughs> I'm sure some of you know who I'm talking about, or peoples that I'm talking about. Because I have felt it. I've done it. I've been in the same shoes, and I've done it, and you don't feel good afterward. It's all short-term dopamine rushes, but in the long term, you realize how alone you truly become. And it just shows that the world is not always the nicest place. Now, my plans here, chat, as like I said, as you can see by the title, besides my rambling that maybe only a quarter of you would understand because you would see the perspective that I'm seeing or the shoes that I'm in, I'm going to attempt to do... Uh, I don't know. I just want to try and feel better so I can get back to doing what I enjoy doing. You know, taking days off hasn't really helped me feel better because I know what brings me happiness. And doing nothing productive all day doesn't really bring me happiness. I enjoy bringing happiness to other people, which, you know, that makes me happy. Because I find the world a very boring place. But I'm in a catch-22. How can I bring others happiness when I can't really give anymore? If you've ever heard of succubants, I've met a lot of succubants in my life, and they have uh, come in and out, and I don't have any more to give. And that is a lesson that I have learned. <laughs> People who give me false fantasies, false promises. Say that this is going to work out. Trust me. I have experience in the situation. And I trust these people or person for guidance. And then I end up just getting either fucked over or sucked out. The energy sucked out. That's unfortunate, but you know, you learn, you live and you learn. If you don't suck, if you don't live and you, if you don't live and learn, then you really are just uh, going to insanity. The problem with living and learning is that there's an aftermath. And dealing with that aftermath is a long and excruciating road. So, I wanted to travel to either Vancouver or Quebec. Those were two locations I've had in mind. Because I've always said I was going to go to Canada. And I need to do something right now. Because if I don't force myself into a situation, I'm not going to do it. It took me an hour to hit the live button. So I have to force myself into a situation where if I'm reluctant to do something like hit the live button I'm fucked so I shouldn't stay at my house I need to force myself into a scenario if I'm ever trying to feel better here so those were the two options that I had in mind. 
I was thinking Vancouver because I've heard it's very it's a very nice place. There's a lot of cool things there. And then I was thinking about Quebec because they speak French and it's one of the oldest um, and biggest cities in Canada, which with a lot of history, which could be interesting. And if I stream and don't turn the stream off, then how could I ever be reluctant to hit the live button ever again? But I'm sure you guys can truly see that I'm not okay. And there's something wrong in my head. I say depression in the title, but I don't really feel depressed. I just feel nothing. Is that depression? Maybe. I'm just going to say it is because it makes for a good title. But the detachment that I have with other people and the things around me, in combination with the numbness that I feel in my mind, it puts me in a spot where it's really hard to get better without doing it myself because I can't listen to other people. It's very difficult. because of the perspective issue. Now, if this travel doesn't work and I can't get myself I can't get myself out of this 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 road that I'm in right now. I don't know what to do. I will be uh, very lost as a person. I've been in this road before, but it's very hard to get out of. I'm not really sure how I did it before. I took ecstasy once, and that kind of helped me when I was going through the same shit. But drugs are not the answer. Ecstasy, even once probably is not a healthy way to go. <laughs> My self-esteem is also at an all-time low. I mean... I do not think very highly of myself. And that needs to be fixed. Because as a live streamer, you must think highly of yourself in order to succeed. I have never seen a live streamer that is successful with low self-esteem. Because everything revolves around you as the live streamer. And at this point, I don't want anything to revolve around me. Because that takes too much pressure. So, that's a funk I need to get out of. And I see the kind words in the chat. I appreciate every single one of you. It's just... Uh, you know, I, I, I do feel grateful that I have the ability to vent and talk and communicate because if without you guys for me to vent and communicate to, I don't have many other people. There are people that I can talk to, but there's not very many that I would want to talk to regarding anything like this. Especially with what I said earlier about succubants.
there are some words that I do have to say to a certain somebody for making a good friend of mine very much sadder than he already was because of this specific person being absolutely selfish and uh, completely idiotic. Because when I see somebody that I care about go into a worse place, it makes me very angry. But if I bring up these people, then they just thrive again. But I'm going to let you guys make your own assumptions. This individual doesn't really have anything. And the person that he works with that gives him his decisions... was somebody that I knew a couple years ago. And they were fired from an organization for lying and not coming or not fulfilling their own promises. And the individual I'm talking about now seeks guidance from that person. And I can see this person as myself a year ago or two months ago with the wrong guidance. And I can see how terrible it looks from the other perspective. Although I wouldn't ever... I was never a succubent, though. If I wanted people to come my way, I'd do it my I'd do it my way. But back to this individual person, they want to come up, you know, and put other people in terrible places. They do that because they're in a bad place themselves, mentally. And their surrounding world is just a fake reality of what they want to live. This person's reality is very sad and gleam. And, you know, he's lost in his own self-worth. Which makes for a very sad story down the line. Makes for a sad story in the present moment. But they don't see that. And for somebody to talk about stuff that doesn't even pertain to them to get attention It's a little bit sad. I just, I feel bad for them. Because they're obviously not in a good spot. And I'm not in a good spot either. But I don't try to put others down. To make myself feel better. What does that get me? All that does is make me feel like a worse kind of person. But then again, when you drink yourself to happiness every single day, as this person does, there's not really anything that I need to say. It's, you know, seen from a mile away. But I guess anything is possible. Now, 
I mean, with all that out of the way, how are you guys doing? How, how have all of you been? You acting weird, homie. Need a dab, homie. Only a little weird. Not too bad, right? Finally out of hospital after the coke overdose? <sighs> Should have had more coke. The hospital is a fun place. They give you free food. I live in Austin close nurses. to you, downtown, and purposely haven't stream sniped you because I wanted to let you figure it out on your own. I wish you the best with your mental health and stay powerful. You deep down miss Caroline. <laughs> I miss everyone that I've come in contact with. CX in the chat. I'm a very lonely person. I just wish I would have saw that a year ago. Look into videos on stoicism. It will change your life dude. you will laugh in depression's face. Oh, I already do it anyways. It doesn't really help it though. It just makes it. Kind oh, of look funny. at the time. The NBA finals are on. Nobody cares about your pussy ass whining and feelings. Just quit. Thank you very much. I will not quit. Though. Set new expectations. It'll be a really hard road, but you must put in the work to set a new bar and new standard. The road to a new normal will be hard, and you must put in the hours to get there. Well, here's. Let me pause this real quick. So that guy has a good point. The expectations are something that I cannot fulfill right now. So, that's why the title is Road to Getting Out of Depression, because I want to make different expectations for myself. When I go live, I have certain expectations that I give myself, and I just need to change those. That would help a lot, That so I'm not so reluctant to hit the live button when I just don't think I can deliver. Imagine if you had a real job and told your boss, you want me to come in five days a week? I'm sorry I can't meet your expectations, lol. Fortunately for me, this is not a normal job, and I have the opportunity to, uh, you know, face these things in a different sort of way. And I'm grateful for that. I think you have emotional attachment disorder or are schizoid, different from schizophrenia. In the words of Eddie Bravo, look into it and mention it to your therapist. Uh, Can I be unbanned from the Discord? How has the dog been? I think the therapist... He was once the content king, now yes, known as... I think the therapist has to give me his own reading. I don't think I should suggest readings to him. If I have to suggest readings to a therapist, then they're not a very good therapist. Um, the dog's fine. He's just been chilling. Anyone who says that I don't know how to take care of a dog and that I've been neglecting my dog is truly an idiot. Um, the dog loves me, and I love the dog. And I mean, Snoopy's just one of the best things that happened in my life of, as of recent. So Snoopy was the, has been the only good news in my life for the past two months. So, I love Snoopy, and, uh, you know, I mean, when he fucking peed on the bed, I was like, God damn, and I took his ass out. But I wasn't mad, because I can't be mad at the only thing that's been good, besides a, mo a few other things, you know, amongst a cloud of shit. Lay off the shrooms, ding ding. Well, I wish I had shrooms, to be honest. Maybe I should go to Colorado, where it's decriminalized, and go try some. Yo man, don't worry about the haters and the users and abusers. You need to do what's good for you and your family. You don't have to help anyone but yourself and them. Welcome to the real world home. Yeah, the real world's a... It's a tough place. Um, I spoke with my mom, actually, a few days ago. I just asked her what her different opinions were of stuff. And, you know, she said that growing up as a kid, I was always very self-absorbed and introspective. And, uh, you know, it's very hard for me to, to get out of that sort of mindset. But, you know, she's, uh, she, she's giving me, she's helping me. She's giving me some good, some good knowledge, dropping some good knowledge bombs. Actually, the reason why I decided to go to therapy in the past week 
uh, is because, you know, of my mother. Like, she, she, suge she suggested that I go and uh, to, to, to help fix any issues that I'm having. Because I don't really like going to therapy because I don't think it really helps um, from just patterns that I've seen in the past. You'll find a new cocaine plug soon, Paul. It will be okay. I mean, if I want cocaine, hey, I can get cocaine, but I don't do cocaine, so... Stop blaming the world and everyone around you for your problems. Stop lying to your community. Accept responsibility for your actions. Grow some big Michael Danino balls. Make a schedule and stick to it. As a wise man once said, Fuck it, dude. That's all I'm going to say. Go find a hobby. We'll allow you to bond with like-minded people and give you a personally rewarding stuff to do. That helped me a lot. My Don't worry, Paul. Things will get better. And you are my like-minded people. I made a PowerPoint that you told go to India months ago. <laughs> I do remember that. Don't be proud. Go to therapy. Nobody has to know. Well, I mean, I don't mind if people know. That's fine. By the way, chat, I, I see what some of y'all are saying. Let, let me tell you something. Kimberly helps me a lot. Okay? I don't miss fucking my ex-girlfriend at all on that sort of level. Kimberly helps me a lot with that sort of stuff. The problem is... You know, I need a little bit more, and that's why I'm going to therapy. And I also need to help myself. So, you know, I bring that up because I just don't want to offend her. You should do a hitchhiking stream. You'd meet a bunch of nice people and also IDD get your mind off of things. Be adventurous, man. Well, I want to go to Canada. Um, uh, I already looked at... Just wanted to show my support. I respect you trying to change things. So, I'm going to buy a flight to go to Canada, Vancouver, Quebec, whichever city I decide to go to. I'm going to buy a flight, go to Canada next week. Because the flights are only like 150 bucks. And, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to fucking take the leap. I'm just going to go there. I'm going to go live. And I'm not going to turn the stream off until I feel better. I don't know how long that stream's going to last. But the title is going to be Road to Getting Out of Depression, and I know what makes me happy. And that is making others happy. So, whether that's a three-day stream, or shorter, or more time, I don't really know. But that's what I'm going to do. Is it going to be content? I have no idea. But if I never shut the stream off, and it's just always on, eventually, I'm going to feel better. Because this is, this is the shit that I live for. This is the shit that I strive for. Me being in a bad place surely cannot last forever. So if I put myself in the situation, I should feel better. Because um, I need to get myself out of a rut. Like, I've been in a rut, and I've been depressed for, I mean, since I've left L.A. and you know, the whole mansion thing didn't work out. I've been depressed. So, I don't know. Is that going to do good for my channel? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to my channel if I just don't turn the stream off for a long period of time. I really, I, like, I don't know. But I'm going to, you know, attempt. I'm going to go, I'll be in a new city. I'll attempt to go around and, like, see what's up. I was thinking Quebec because they don't speak English there. And I think that'll be really good for me. Um, so I can just do stuff without having to deal with, like, bullshit. So, that was, like, my plan. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. It'll be an interesting road to go down, that's for fucking sure. And the dog, you know, Kimberly will take care of the dog while I'm gone. So, uh, that's not really a concern. Elliot Rogers with Down Syndrome. I mean, I'm not a murderer, so... That's a plus. Jesus is the answer, man. 
Jesus loves you and cares for you, brother. Pray tonight and he will reveal himself to you, bro. You know, I did a seance. How are you lost on a road in 2019? Just take the next ride or use a GPS and stop and ask for directions. It's actually pretty easy to stream. Just hit the live button. Do you have Alzheimer? I wish I had Alzheimer's to help me forget a lot of stuff. But, um, no, fucking, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, exactly, dude. Fucking, some, I forgot what you, I don't know. The road. I was going to say something about something, but I forgot what it was going to be. HSB was your downfall. Stop blaming the world for all your problems. Accept responsibility for your actions. Grow up air. Stop lying to your community. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, yeah. Come to Thunder Bay with the junkies and come flail with us. Trust me, Thunder Bay is a place to be in Canada. Don't get game into here or you go. Come to Thunder Bay with the junkies and come flail with us. I would love to go to Thunder Bay. Don't know what that is, but it sounds like a fun time. Do magical mushrooms, homie. It will fix your mindset. Um, I've done mushrooms before, they're nice. But I, I need to fix this without drugs. I'd rather not just take a psychedelic to make me feel better. This needs to be done with myself, and then you guys can be along for the ride as well. Just you, man, enjoy the small things in every day. The problem with self-reflection and the problem with, uh, you know, talking without... Never forget HSP. Without this is a bait stream for donos. Thank you. The, the problem with self-reflection is, if I only see one perspective, it's a very hard thing to do. Because I can only, uh, I only think inwardly, I don't really think outwardly. At the moment, at least. Operation Demonetize Vox. Target Vox is advertisers. Weaponize your autism. Right. Fire up your keyboards. No, no, let's not do that, because... Then it's going to be more demonetized. Paul, work on you before us. The realists will stick around. The roaches and leeches and scum will leave. Well, if you guys are curious about what I'm working on right now, I think it's pretty obvious that... Hold on, let me pause. Give him hell ice. Go visit Bjorn and Denmark. I think it's... I think it's fairly obvious that I'm trying to... My main priority right now is focusing on myself. I'm not really trying to focus on providing the best content, unfortunately. I'm trying to focus on myself. That's my main priority. And I'd like you guys to come on the road with me uh, with that priority in mind. Because some people could find it interesting. I mean, brain functions is a very interesting subject for a lot of people. You need a pet load. Actually, I take that back. Hold a set was nice. I take that back. I have, I did receive good news within the past two months. I mean, I got all my stuff back from the FBI. So I think that was the, the best news that I've heard ever in the past two months. And that actually brightened my day up when I got that shit back. So, I mean, with I this is my main phone. The fact that I have my phone back with all my information and people, contacts, everything, it makes me feel just so much fucking better. Hope you're doing okay, Paul. Take care of yourself, man. If you need to talk, I'm still here. Thank you. No, I, I can- You're a snitch, Harvey. Why make it seem like Volder and its CP was a nice dude and was just trying to chill? Why pander the IP Harvey Ice? We will always love you, live your life. Who's Harvey J? Who is that? I'm depressed too. You're not alone. Remember that. That's why I would like, that's why I'm streaming this. And that's why I'm going to travel with the road to getting out of depression. Because I know there's a lot of people that are depressed that watch the streams. You know? I, I get it. Like, I understand. And we can all work on this together. And if I can manage to crawl out of this hole, maybe people can 
find some value in it. And I think that's, you know, very interesting to watch. Because as I am right now, clearly I'm not in a good place. But if I stream for days at a time, maybe you guys can slowly notice me get better or slowly notice me get worse, depending on what my body wants, because it all comes from me, you know, at the end of the day. Hopefully, it's not the latter, though. <laughs> hey, Paul. Just want you to know that these feelings come and go and are completely random. We have no control over them. Stop overanalyzing. Stop trying to find the metaphor and all the bad. Um... Yeah, I mean, overthinking is a pretty normal thing right now, though. It's very easy to overthink everything. And that's the, that's a huge problem. And when your self-esteem gets low, I think you become a lot more self-absorbed. For anyone in the chat who's depressed, do you feel like yourself has become a more important entity as opposed to everyone around you? Because that's kind of how I feel. I don't consider myself important as the way of like on like a level with clout or something, but in a way of like, I know what's best for myself. Um, because I don't think anyone truly knows how I feel. And I've been depressed before and I've had the same thoughts. So I think with depression comes lower self-esteem, but a higher level of self-worth or something. I don't really know how to explain it, but that's what I see. Or that's, that, that's what I feel. Love you, Paul. Nothing more to say, smile. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Um, very much, dude. Have you heard of Twitch? You should try streaming there. They have some Earl. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of Twitch. I would love to. Thank you, dude. Unfortunately, my ex-manager uh, convinced me not to ever try to stream on that site for a very long time. Hey, you complete doorknob. It's pronounced succubus, not succubin. When you mispronounce words, you look like a complete clown too. CX in the chat. Shout out to Chill Room Discord. Shout I mean, out to, to fair, Jacob. To be fair, I am a clown, so I guess I'm just fitting my role perfectly. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution should be televised. I am the revolution. And the revolution becomes one with itself. Here's one expectation. Stop lying to your community, friends, and family. Accept responsibility for your actions. You know, being a normal functioning adult. I'm a CEO BTW. How do you know have one million? You're the best. <laughs> Thank you, dude, because I go through shit like this, unfortunately. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. You'll be okay, Ice. Just get out. Don't hide away. Will you stream your therapy session? Point cam only at your face so no details can leak. Real. Well, I was thinking about doing something like that. If I streamed my therapy session, would that really help me, though? I think it would be interesting for people to watch, but I don't think that's very, I don't think it will come off very genuine for myself. Knowing that I'm streaming the session, I think I won't be as real with myself as I would like to be to the therapist. Because I, uh, you know, there are obviously some things about myself that I'd rather not put out into the world. You know, um... Because everyone, you know, deserves at least a little bit of privacy. Hey bro, let's meet up in Colorado. I'm a level 69 Tarahumara shaman from the high mountains of the Sierra Desert in Chihuahua. I think you need DMT. Turtles all the way down. Or some mushrooms, smile. Well, I would do DMT. I mean, that would definitely give me a good old ego death right there. Nothing wrong with that, man. 
Read the press in Japan. I, I actually was not. You seem really inward and like you're about to shoot up a school or something, Lin Mao. No. Also, wasn't Kim and moving to Austin supposed to help your happiness? It helps with one aspect, but not. All I do is study others. to become a doctor. The only fun I have to look forward to is watching Ice Poseidon and Tyler One Wads. Any advice for having to spend the next ten years of my life in a book? Um, make sure you read all the nouns. Um. Yeah, I wasn't depressed in Japan. I was very happy there, actually. That was a fun time. Unfortunately, don't really want to go back right now because... Are you going to cry or not? I've already been I'm there. trying to finish. Uh, no, I'm not going to cry. I mean, I don't feel that sort of self-pity for myself at the moment. What is crying? Don't know 134CX. Thank you, dude. You know, I'd rather talk than cry. Crying doesn't do anything. Talking is actually... Bro, please come to Toronto. I would love to be there to guide you throughout the town and make sure you have fun with me. I want you to feel happy, man. Well, Toronto's a good town, a good city, but I think uh, there's, you know, Quebec and Montreal... Go Kimberly to make a moon palace or sandals clean. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? What the fuck is a moon castle? Hey, shrooms in a good environment can help a lot. And sorry, but why didn't the mansion work out? Stopped watching for a while. You know, I have something to tell you guys. The mansion didn't work out for a various amount of reasons. One of the major reasons was there was a lot of head butting. I butted a lot of heads. Or I butted with with, uh, with with the head of of uh, someone else many many times. Unfortunately, the power um, that was within them was a little bit stronger than mine, and uh, overcame to the top, which left me in a really bad place. And that's something to learn from. If you butt heads with somebody and power is something that is being needed to fight for, then it's probably a red flag to try to get the fuck out. Your life is a joke and you're the comedian, ha ha. I mean, that's fine with me. I must be a pretty good comedian then. You know what's funny, Paul? You are depressed because you rely on drugs to make you feel better. And yes, men. Get off that modafinil and other drugs. Stop being such a pussy. I actually have pussy taken, cry more. I haven't taken any modafinil. That's one hairy light dude. Did. It's been a while since I've taken it. It would be nice, though. Paul, we love you. Just glad to be hanging with you. Love, Daniel and Lauren. Unfortunately, chat, when you go into a situation where you're too far deep, butting heads is the, really the only safe option. Any other option that would have been had would have left me in a crippled state. But the safe option ended up being not actually a very safe option. And here I am in a crippled state. Unfortunately... It's hard to see these things until you learn them for your own, from your own self-experience. Did the FBI get your shit back? Yeah, I got my stuff back. Please bring back the CX network. You don't need to be Twitch friendly, Poseidon. Embrace the try hard. Embrace the trolling. We want the CX universe back. In due time, a new universe will be created. But right now, I need to focus on getting myself better. Um, instead of giving, I need to I need to take in a little bit. Because if I give any more, I'm gonna be, you know, dust. <laughs> I'm not gonna be anything. Kimberly will be looking after the dog, but who will be looking after Kimberly? Uh. You guys? On Discord? Do some research on the effects of nicotine on anxiety and depression. 
That vape of yours may be a contributor to the rut you find yourself stuck in. Well, this ain't going to Canada with me. Do you or you, my guy, love you and wish you well, CX? Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, nicotine's not good. I've been... I've been puffing on that vape for a while now. That's that probably that definitely doesn't. If you go help. to Quebec, you might get pressed. My locals, they don't want the English language taking over the French language. Also, stop hating on IC. Just needs to work on himself. Eh, I'll go to Quebec. It's fine. If I get pressed, we love whatever. you, Paul. Take your time. Getting pressed is like the least of my worries at the moment. Anyways, I might as well go and attempt to stream in Quebec. H M and M funny. How do you want to get out of Austin and travel just after Kim left and you got this dog? Any way you can, you prove she's coming back and your dog is still with you. I mean, you're a bit unstable. Uh, Paul, listen to me, brother. Else. I care about you. If you really want positivity and you have to cut out all the negative things you say and ban all the negative people in the text to speech, just ban them. I I know the feeling you're going through the last weeks. I started to feel depressed because of my job. I haven't felt good, but I've been getting a little better, and I hope you get better, homie. Well, we'll be on this road together. Were so you depressed good. in Japan? Also, don't be depressed. Just cheer up, but I was not depressed in Japan. Actually, felt really good. Let me see. What is this? This is the budding head you're talking about. Scuff Steve Jobs ripping you off and ruining the mansion on the way he did to the Archon House and running off with around seven hundred thousand dollars with the refunded mansion payments. I don't really know what the truth is behind any of that. I'm going to be real with you. Um, I only know what I've been told. I don't think anyone got refunded for the mansion. But to be fair, I don't really know. I do know when we left the mansion, Scuff Steve Jobs did get 50k from... Uh, just shit that he was owed, but he got it from uh, some of the money from the mansion because the investors ended up getting back the rest of the lease to them. Um, and then I was told that he got 50k, but I mean, I don't really know. But that 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 is not the butting heads I'm talking about. Did I butt heads with Scuff Steve Jobs? Oh, clearly. I mean, I thought it was obvious. It's not something I could talk about, um, at the time at least, because I was in the situation. But I thought the, I thought I, I thought there was clear um, indications there that something w was not right, and uh, I guess the indications just weren't clear enough. Try not to focus too much on the chat. 90% still consists of toxic, edgy 14-year-olds that don't know the first thing about mental health. Hope you get better, bro. Have been watching for two years. To me, the meat of your streams is you interacting with places and people that we probably never will. It's like going on vacation with a friend. You're the king of IRL. I hope you remember. Please, just don't be smug. Never call any viewers toxic again. Quit the fake SJW act. Keep up therapy. It works. Be well, homie. Thank you, dude. Now, I know a lot of people were always wondering about why the Reddit originally closed and all this. There were many reasons, but there was one obvious reason here. Um... You know, I was put in a position where I had to look out for myself and, you know, there were, there were a lot of headbutts there and through those headbutts, I was given an ultimatum and that ultimatum would have left me in a very crippled state. So what I ended up doing was just pushing back the crippled state a little bit longer. That's really all that ended up happening. It was either get crippled then or get crippled a month from then. And I guess I chose the month from then option. But, you know, when there's false promises and things that are fed to you, you don't see it that way. 
until you learn from the experience after it happens. Paul Danino, the poster boy for depression. We watch you for your qualities as well as your flaws. We relate to your streams because we see ourselves in you. Breaking your relationship with Sam was Thank one you. of the worst things you could have done. You could tell he was trying to help even those that hate Sam miss him. They can't stop posting about him on the sub. Yeah, I do regret that. You're on probation right. for a year for something I didn't do was forced by my parents to drop out of high school and the money iron goes to fees. Been depressed. Help me by streaming. We'll get better together. You idiots don't realize he considers us an ATM machine and has low on money right now so he came to pull out TK and they don't know the legal lie done good. If you guys would like to download DibDab in the chat, please click the download link. Now, why do I bring that up after that donation? Because all it does is prove that I just want to have a chat and have a conversation. And I have a sponsor. Therefore, um, the guy who donated that is clearly not the ATM there. Ice, can you read my last donation? It didn't play. Uh, oh, it probably did play. I just had it paused. Another reason why the mansion didn't work was because you were stuck in your room the entire day playing RuneScape with your weird GF. But why do you think that is? Like I said, when you're given an ultimatum, you just end up going in a really bad place. Are you for real? You butt heads with him? Nah bro, you covered for him and let him do whatever he wanted. Like toss next Sandy's phone and dump his KFC while you laughed in the back. You're a clown. Yeah, I am a clown for that, but why do you think that is? Why do you think I would cover for somebody knowing that there is negative shit that will come out of that? Well, once again, I go back to the ultimatum route. And unfortunately, I put myself in a position where I was no longer uh, the person who had the say. And I was constrained by many things. Which is something, you know, I've obviously learned from because I'm in a bad spot now. Love you, Paul. Keep on being sexy, boo-boo. Thank you. Do you think Texas was a good decision still? It is, it's very, very nice here. So, I haven't showed you guys where I live, but it's very, very nice. It's, um, so in LA, for the same amount of money, I'd be living in the ghetto. Here, I'm living in a very nice area, very, like, family-ish kind of area, and... You know, everyone around is not, they're not bad people. They're good motherfuckers. Like, they're good fucking people. And it's like, uh, there's, it, there's parks, there's families, there's smiles. It's just a happier environment. So, no, I do like this environment a lot. I wish I could share the environment with you guys besides just the city. But, um, you know, in due time. Is the biting head you're talking about scuffs Steve ripping you off and ruining the mansion the way he did the Archon house? Then running off with around $700,000. Why is that repeating? Hey Paul, I visited you when you lived in LA. You seemed so happy. One of the highlights of my summer, you were a very genuine person less than three. Thank Cause you, I'm hot we lost a lot of good men that day. Can you please be more direct? What's holding you We told back? you for literally years now that SSJ was messing up your career. After all that has happened, do you realize now that we were right all along? Listen. It's not in my character to be direct, to put other people down for a mistake that I made. 
That would be the easier thing to do. But it's not really in my character to do that. Because if I did, I would just be stooping down to the level of those people. Um, I think it's fairly obvious what I'm trying to say, though. And I word myself very specifically. So... I don't get any sort of retaliation, if that makes any sense. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to word it in a more direct way, <laughs> but I don't really know how to without getting retaliation, not from viewers, but from the people I would be talking about. Not that it matters, but, you know, right now, with my current state, that's the last fucking thing that I need. Love you, homie. What day specifically are you going to Quebec? I'm so excited you are coming to Canada, I'll snipe and bring the 10 flavors CXCX. Well, next week is uh, where the cheap flights are, so sometime next week. Um, listen, there's no... You may have just been scammed. There's no blackmail, but obviously there was ultimatums. Um... And the ultimatums were not a good option. And I, you know, unfortunately put myself in certain positions stupidly that I could not get out of without very much crippling myself. Um, those ultimatums obviously don't mean anything now, but, you know, they did two months ago. Been on probation for one year for something I didn't do in Try not to focus too much on the chat. 90% still consists of toxic, edgy 14-year-olds that don't know the first thing about mental health. Hope you get better, bro. Have been watching for two years. I guess I'll put it this I way. I hope you'll consider appearing on my new show, Cyber Hunter. I'm coming to see you soon, Paul. Mayor, mayor, mayor. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Um, I guess I'll put it this way. This will be as direct... This will be the most direct thing I'm going to say today, probably. Um, it was either close down the Reddit, or I was going to be homeless. And, you know, all of my dreams would just not come true. Now... My dreams did not come true anyways, but I didn't end up homeless, so that's good. Because obviously when I moved into the mansion, I had spent a lot of money to do, you know, for a vision that, that, uh, was, that I was, you know, being told. And, uh, yeah, that vision just didn't happen. And I was just put in a really bad spot. I've watched your streams for three years. Seen this cycle of self-destruction of viewer base and then the depression phase time and time again. Behind on Renzo's stream about your problems. Manipulator. Surround yourself with normal people not degenerates like you did in LA. Don't focus on trying to entertain anymore, just live life. Hey, living's what it's all about. Hi guys, I'm Ice. I will ghost you for seven days without updating you. Not even on Twitter. My members are so retarded giving me their money every month. I'm not depressed, just baiting donos. Fuck it, dude. You know, telepathy exists, and I've actually been inserting myself into all of your minds. So therefore, you have been getting updates, but they've been very subconscious. Who needs Twitter when 
us as the human race has the sixth sense once it's unlocked. Paul, brother, you have banned all the negative people in TTS, even though you make money from. Ban them. Cut off all the negativity and stop saying it's and stupid shit. It's all the karma coming back to you. Karma definitely exists. There's a lot of major changes that happened in your life. You gotta think deep down on what you really want. Can you just say that SSG threatened you if you didn't close the Reddit? You don't need to be so cryptic about it. I guess retaliation can't come if only the truth be told. There was a point during the mansion that, you know, um, I mean, I don't, I'm like, it's, it's a very scary thing to talk about. Because, like I said, it's not really in my character to do so. But there was a point in the mansion where um, SSJ did think that... I don't really know what he thought, but, you know, there was... Uh, I, I definitely had things held over my head. And... I was in a position where I, I pretty much had to close down the Reddit. I mean, it was a very, you know, it was a long going argument and, you know, a, th a thing that lasted for probably two or three weeks before it came into a mission. And, you know, over the course of those two weeks, um, the ultimatums got more and more bold, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, there was just not really a choice in the matter at the very end there. And, you know, obviously I had dreams that I wanted to reach on my streams as well, and I was told these dreams, and... In the end, I, I don't really know if anyone was truly looking out for me. I'm pretty sure everyone was looking out for themselves. And the mansion was never going to be a long thing like I thought it was. Can you please be more direct? What's holding you back, homie? You need to just say fuck it, dude, and let it all flow. We're all here for you, man. One of my friends just took his life on Monday, and now I try to help anyone who feels down. Please talk if you feel down and don't keep it to yourself. I guess I'll just put it this way then. Like I said, truth be told. Um, yeah, there, there was, there, there was some, uh, I had unknowingly sacrificed my power. Um, when it came to, uh, you know, binded contracts. Um, and everything was done through trust and faith. And that is my mistake. Could 
Can you stop using big words, Plaza? Ty. Paul, where you been? Love you, homie. I'm here, man. You have stomach problems that are causing you to not be able to absorb nutrients for your brain causes cognition problems and depression. Research for vitamins and antioxidants you will be back to know. I mean, I've, I've been drinking only water the past week, so that's a good start. Eh, I, I, I will say this about Voldesad as well. Towards the end of the mansion, there was something that really irked me. Um, Voldesad was given lies. And I, at the end, Voldesad, he thought that I hated him. Um, and I... <laughs> There was definitely, like, someone whispering in his ear to, uh, to get him out of my life. And I think he was really affected by that. In fact, someone attempted to do that to a lot of people around me. But it really affected Voldesad the most. And I can only assume it's because if that person was successful, they would have full control over me as a person. If I don't have any other source of uh, people around me. Think to yourself, who would want the most control over me? Thank you for not scamming. Chat, oh my god, you guys are... Not. So we were also right in saying he has a lot of dirt on you? Enough to make say a 1 hour and 40 minute exposed video. LMFAO he gave you way worse than he gave Brandon on the RV trip. You got toned. I guess I'm I guess my my riddles are not really resonating with a lot of people in the chat. Oh my fucking god. Listen, if th this is not in my character and this is really fucking bad and burning bridges is not what I like doing, but at this point what do I have to lose? No, it wasn't my fucking girlfriend, dude. Fucking goddamn Scuff Steve Jobs wanted Voldesat out of my life. He wanted a lot of people out of my fucking life. You know what I mean? Like, he wanted Sam out of my life. He wanted, a, like, of course. Like, of course. Like, what do you mean? How has this not been resonated to the chat? You know, I don't like talking about this because this is the, like, whatever could come from this is the last thing I need in my fucking life. And no, there's no dirt or blackmail. It's just, it's just a feeling of shame. That's all it is. Like, for, on myself, for being so stupid. Please just stop that fake SJW routine of the last month. Don't call us toxic anymore. You know you have to make peace with number two website. Please. And he, you know, he, he did not like that he was getting shit on on Reddit. So I was told things um, that made him seem selfless. But now looking back on it, it was obviously for selfish reasons. And I was given the ultimatum to close down the Reddit or 
I would lose a lot that I've worked for, a lot that I've spent my own money to go for. You know what I mean? I spent a lot of money to make Scuffed work out because I wanted a streamer house. I wanted to be able to make the content that I could make from that project. And then I realized when I got into that project, when we got into that house, I couldn't do what I wanted to do because there were rules in place that I couldn't overwrite because if I attempted to, I would be out on the street because I had spent all my money on that project, my own money that I would get reimbursed for. Have, but at this point, I don't, I don't have a reimbursement. And I didn't at the time either. So I was put in a really fucked up situation, a really bad fucking spot. And uh, you know, I went through some, some, some problems. And that's why I just stayed in my fucking room because I just knew that I had made a fucking mistake with trying so hard to get this house that I had unknowingly fucked myself. was a problem. SSJ got the mansion in his name and held it over Paul's head and threatened him. We all know SSJ is a backstabber. It was obvious the day they signed the agreement. I haven't watched in over a year right after you got the CX tattoo. Because you let everyone around you take over your stream. Anyway, welcome to Texas. Dude, talking about this in your car for a long time won't fix anything. We all know what happened from stuff posted online. Go out and stream in the streets. Set a streaming schedule for yourself. And I'm just, yeah, thank you. I'm just, I'm just pissed at myself. And I've been pissed at myself for a long fucking time. You know? But, you know, you live and you learn from situations. And that's all I can really do. Because, you know, you gotta stay healthy somewhere. Why don't you try going to church? And everyone around me could be saying one could be saying something. But it's very easy to disregard everything when you have things being told to you with promises and you know little bits of like good things happening little at a little bit at a time and I'm like okay this must be real type shit Could be worse. I'm only 29 going through skin cancer on my face. Just had surgery. Had allergic reaction to antibiotics. Face blew up red like a balloon infected. Won't leave house for next two months. The worst part is that both Casey or Charlie would have did the streamer house thing and wouldn't have asked all this stuff from you or given you ultimatums. We all warned you that SSJ was a scumbag. Charlie had his own things. Ho hopefully you'll learn from things. these mistakes. Keep your head up. You still have a loyal following. Charlie, Those who are upset just Charlie want the best even, for you. Charlie didn't let Evan stream in their fucking house. When he says someone he's talking about the cat fucker Brent Catskull. Paul the first new in LA. 
The Reddit was toxic, you had to end it. Fuck it, move on. You need to ban all the toxic TDS and people and focus on positivity and good karma will come back to you. 100% brother. Do you not remember that you are the one who invited people to become streamers for a chance at being included in a network and potentially even a streamer house? I did. But that's not what I'm talking about. You can tell a person is new to the streams when they think Sam ruined your career. If only the community hated SSJ as much as they hated Sam. I love you, please take this message seriously. Four infusions of vitamins just one time and you will understand how much it can really heal your body. Don't let your ignorance and evil repel this message. Oh, man. Bjorn is your only true friend. Go to Denmark. Bjorn is a good dude. I would like to thank SSJ for making the other Reddit flourish by making you close the censorship Reddit. Greetings from Alester Stallone. over his power of attorney while simultaneously whispering in people's ears to turn them against him. All his closest and most powerful friends were driven away to isolate. To do talking about this in your car won't fix anything. We know what happened. Some of these are repeating. And, you know... So all this time the community's problems and complaints you're actually addressing by cutting Steve out? Screw him. That's what we wanted. Why are you taking the blame for everything? Throw him under. I mean, there's not much more for me to say. I mean, that's basically the, the general uh, principle of it all. Um, you know, I mean, that that's, that's the principle. <laughs> like, what I just said was exactly it. Um... And here I am left, isolated, and, you know, alone, except, I, like, I literally have my girlfriend, and the people that don't fucking hate me in the chat. So, you know, mistakes were made, and I le I'm left with the, the butt of it, but that's fine. Because I live and I learn and I try to fix it. And I try to go from there. And we and then the you know, the mistake isn't made again. That's how life works. It's just a huge cycle of learning. You know, there is a message. No man is your friend. No man is your enemy. Every man is your teacher. That is a saying that lives truly so strong. SSG equals shaming snake jerk. Confirm. When you said Brent owns 49% of the company, Rio. You have finally removed the leech SSJ from taking your 20%. It's a blessing he is gone. Find a real smart man to guide your future. Don't be scared of change, the future is bright. The future is bright. It's just a hard path to get to that. Dude, don't be so down on yourself. You know what you should do, buy Bitcoin. Sound money. Buy Bitcoin. Okay. Sound no, money. No, stop with that, dude. This is crazy, if true. Movie script. He plotted it all. He had to sling Sam away. Because Sam would have easily caught onto him and made sure all your shit was correct. It made sick by Sam serious. We love you, bro. You're doing the right thing. You bled for you for him to pull it all away. We understand it's embarrassing, but we can smell this dishonesty and Milo are not good at hiding it. Due to your being way too hard on yourself. It's just relax and buy Bitcoin. Sound okay, money. Come on. It's, it's not even a, it's not even about shame and embarrassment it's also about retaliation I don't want to be retaliated against by anyone that I've ever put trust in because that 
will just hurt me, dude, because obviously I've been very vulnerable to a lot of people that I've trusted, and I would really hate for people to use vulnerabilities against me on a public platform. Um, you know, I don't have anything to hide. There's no blackmail on anything, but there's personal stuff and vulnerabilities that I have put out there that I wouldn't want revealed. Paul, your tears taste so salty. You need to grow up and stop thinking about shit that happened in past move on. You hold on to the little things when there is a bigger picture. Just tell us you won't trust anyone else in the entertainment business. I mean, probably not. That's why I'm a solo person right now. Let's just get your event streams back, man. You can do it. Do the pickle measuring stream and the scuff shark tank. Just scuffed ninja warrior. We have faith in you and you can do this without them. I think the, um, the whole, I think the whole mansion thing, I did get a lot out of that. But in my opinion, I got the least out of it than anyone else. Um, in fact, I lost a lot when it should have been the other way around, based on things I was told. Because the things that I did end up getting from that whole project, I could have just done myself. With the money that I ended up putting into that project anyways, with no, with nothing out of, nothing to get out of it. Damn bro, this is crazy. Thank you for telling the truth, I we really appreciate it. And somehow I don't feel any better about myself. Just vent, bro. You need to get all this out and move on. Love you, bro. Your real homies are still here. You wanted to take things to the next level and that got the best of you. And that's not a bad thing. You made a mistake. You're a smart fellow. You can evolve. Thank you for being honest with us. Fuck SSJ. Don't be so down on yourself. Relax and buy Bitcoin. Sound money. Buy a Bitcoin. Yeah. Yep. It's... it's... Thank you, dude. Fucking... My is Keith is live with 10k viewers. Bitcoin. Thank you, dude. But like I said, it's fine. It's... We're gonna go... Good things and the content you want is coming hang in there. I've had a lot of bad business relationships as well. It takes time to find good ones. Set your own path. Don't let others influence you. Yeah, I let too, too much influence, that's for sure. You have been someone I could watch when I had no one. Don't let this BS get you down. New place, new people. Make yourself happy. Restarting life is easy. Like I said, if there's one thing I do learn from all this, I should have just stuck to myself. I wanted to make a network, okay, I should have just, I mean, there was a lot of issues with that that I that were totally and utterly my fault. I should have done things a little different. But when it comes to business, like, I should just figure shit out myself. I shouldn't ever give my all to someone else to do business for me. Because in business, everyone looks out for themselves. And me, looking out for everyone else except myself, put me 
where I am right now. So, that's not cool. Your community is filled with the chaotic evil and chaotic good. Both have their versions of what you should be and you listen to one side and panic. Listen to neutral parties such as Destiny for Ones. Don't repel this message. Have a nurse come to your house and give you four transfusions of vitamins. Don't repel this message, man. Trust this message this one time. What the fuck? Okay, dude, thank you. You can find part two of this tea sipping stream on Live Me. Brought to you by MeUndies. Now Stop pretending that you spent all your time helping others. Please tell me when you last helped him, Sir Aaron, or how much time did you spend with tracksuit that you need them and they need you to go on RV trip 3. I mean, that's... I, I don't even... I mean, I don't even need to reply to that because they're, that's retarded. But I'm not going on RV... What? Fucking Casey's road trip? No, I'd rather not, dude. I'm sticking to myself, dude. No man is your friend. No man is your enemy. Every man is your teacher. Ice Poseidon CX. It's a true saying. Ice, you hero. The fact that you fight this demon in the villa so long to get for nearly to where you are now is incredible. Changes are hard sometimes, but it's worth it. CX. So, listen. Can you stop milking donos and do some Earl? <laughs> uh, I mean, this is IRL. Um, listen. Like I said, we're gonna fucking travel so I can get myself out of a rut and make myself feel better. We're gonna go to fucking Canada. What, what city in Canada? I don't know. We're gonna go to Canada. I have a flight next week to go. Well, I don't, not yet, but I'm gonna have a flight next week because it's like a hundred fucking, hundred fifty dollars for the flight. We're gonna go there and we're gonna do a fucking however long fucking 24 7 stream. However long that lasts. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And I hope that's what you all can look forward to. Um, because, yeah, like, I'm not just sitting here going live every day, being in a fucking bad mood. That's not who I am. And I prefer to try to fix things. Um, and I've done it before. I can do it again. It just takes some pushing, and I'm pushing myself to do so. Now, I wanted Gary to go with me. Because um, Gary's a good-ass dude. Unfortunately, I think he's not going to be able to make it until, you know, maybe July. So, I mean, we might have to just go by myself, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Bro, you are not alone. Nothing wrong with picking yourself back up. Dude, you are still young to stress over things like this. All they did was see you as a dollar sign, bro, SMH. Not everyone. Well. Imagine getting scammed by someone who can't read. Smarter than people my age, BTW. <laughs> eh, I guess I am pretty stupid, huh? Hey, bro, it's Taylor. We met on Rainy Street. I feel like returning to normal life for a little would help come up with me to my parents' lake house and meet my family there, normal, wholesome people. I see you still have 5k viewers. You just have to wake that fire inside you. And buy Bitcoin. Sound money. Buy Bitcoin. Sound money. Okay, Bitcoin, dude. Thank you, dog. Appreciate it. Come on. You say you need to learn from your mistakes and get back to success. There is no more future. You have fucked your community for over a year now. You're over. You have lost almost everything. I've watched you for three years. Fuck it, Someone dude. I could connect to when I have Fuck no it, one. Life Fuck is it. easier to restart than you think. New place, new people. You have a fan base. Make your own future. I'm, I'm in the process, for sure. Cheer up, man. You have provided me with over two years of solid entertainment through shitty times. I really appreciate it. Your fans are still waiting for the story to unfold. You will do good in life. Ah, this, this I swear are 5,000 brains watching versus your one brain. We obviously know who is fake in your life and real. Let us decide your life situations and dance monkey. You are our puppet dance monkey. 
<laughs> yeah, I got no sympathy for you, bro, because I remember how smug and arrogant you were even at the end. Waving your taser around at Sam and Andy and calling the cops on people you deserve all the hate. Well, Sam and Andy's not a I great person. I so. remember whatever happens in life. At least you're hot, am I right? He a hey arm thing, tongue thing. I'm so fucking hot. Never forget HSB. I mean, I think I am pretty CEO hot. CEO BTW. I think I am pretty hot. I'm just gonna be thrown out there, I mean. I mean, look at this. I really hope you're not just streaming to bait donos equals you will be okay, dude. We love you. Well, I mean, I haven't gone live in eight days, so I don't think so. <laughs> but I have a good you. judge of character, BTW. I know who's using me and who's not BTW. Listen to your community more. We knew that boy was no good. For transfusion will heal your body. Fuck all these mental tips. What you need is to physically heal as well. Future cannot be bright without your health, for a transfusion is fast and make you way smarter. Most haters were big fans before they hated you. Not all were born never listening nor being on this several dozen times. You lost them. For example, Fire SSJ, do you remember? Now you say you wish you did. You know what I saw all that matters is that you are taking responsibility for your mistakes. All these haters are too mad because they will never be blessed with the opportunities you have. Fuck all the haters. CX. Did any of the Texas Twitch streamers contact you ask how you're doing? Mitch Jones? Train Rex? Glad you're free from SSJ. This too. Today's problems will pass. Upward and onward. Dice Poseidon. Um, I mean, it's not their obligation to. But Mitch did ask me on one drunken night to hang out. Do what feels right, Paul. I believe in you. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> Release the contract. <laughs> oh, no. Release the contract. Okay. Please meet up with PME Dix. I hear he lives in Canada. I mean, I, I, I think. Don't lie to yourself anymore. You have been eating unhealthy and Red Bulls every day. Remember when you had that B12 for transfusion? Get the same thing with other added vitamins. Don repel this message. Go take a walk. You are going crazy in the car. Where am I? I mean, I know where I am, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go get food or something. You got my cousin and I out of hard times, bro, CX. I will get food or something, so don't worry. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Let me, uh... Let's see. Let me... I'll go get food. Hold on. I have a good travel plan for you. Go to Toronto, one of the best cities in the world. Then you can drive down two hours and go to Niagara Falls. Chill out there and meditate there, it's so amazing. Thank you, dude. I, I do want to go to Niagara Falls, but one day. Boohoo, my friends turned on me. Yeah, right. They weren't friends. You used them as much as they used you. You chose who you wanted around you. You were playing two sides of the board and still lost. Oh, of course. Hey, what it do, girl? What it do? It's a, what it do? It's a very... What it do? It's a very... What it do? Uh, okay, come on. Damn, Doss a sexy ass it's, goblin. It's, it's a very strange world, that's for sure. Here, let me just put this phone like right here so I don't... So nobody just... You know, for obvious reasons. Oh, man. I don't want uh, to show the parking lot. I mean, it's it's the world of entertainment. Yeah, people, you know, you know, there's a reason why me. There's a reason why I'd hang out with certain people. There's a reason why they hang out with me. I mean, it's the entertainment world. It's not like uh, it's not a malicious thing. It's uh, it's a trade-off, and I don't think that's a bad thing. It's a very lonely thing, 
but it's not a bad thing. But I mean, everything's a trade-off in the entertainment world. It's pretty hard to find genuine friends. I guess it's not that hard, but you just sometimes you just rather not. You just rather focus on your on your career, and you know, you get those trade-off friendships instead. Alright, one sec, chat, we're almost there. Okay. Ivy Transfusio, the only thing you are missing in your life is your health. Your extra money allows you to heal faster than anyone else with IV transfusions. Don't repel this information. I mean, I'll try. IV, IV, I. I'll, I'll try the transfusion. I don't know what that means. Hey, I suggest Jad. How are you? Ki jasudis ki eat chicken nak jail joy jo east lot kasai jada nine to kfc a woo woo. What the fuck are you saying, dude? Yo, can I sit down or what? Why am I just standing here with nobody coming up to me? One second, chat. Hold up, all right? Yo, I'm just going to go sit down. You're taking care of yourself. Much love. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm taking care of myself, dude. Omar, don't worry, dude. Thank you, dog. <sighs> oh my God, it's. I will say, the past week, it's been you a You are very, pretty hot, Goblin CX. Week. It's been a long, long, long week, dude. To be honest. Yeah, I, I should... I should have... Uh, this guy said you should, should eat before you stream, but, like... I don't really want to walk around and stuff. Like, that's not the mood. I'm going to have to slowly work into it, you know? That's why I want to do the travel thing, so I, I'm forced to do that, you know what I mean? Instead of just doing it. I need to force myself into a situation. But, you know, that's how I get back into it, you know? Force myself into a situation, then boom, I can get back into it easy, dude. So, that's just, you know, that's the start. That's the way to do it. Uh, Yo, dude. You thinking about doing some nature shit or train hop in Canada? I'm a traveler, based out of Austin, ATM. But fuck this heat. I'll fly out for adventure. I mean... I'll do some nature stuff when I'm there, yeah, but I, I'm going to stay within the city most of the time and, you know, interact with people. I think that's what viewers are looking for the most, so that's probably what I'm going to do. You know, very Japan-esque kind of uh, streams. If your parents are divorced, clap your hands song, bro. My, I mean, luckily my parents aren't divorced, but if they are, you know, I'm sorry for that. That sucks. You know what we want? We want you to go get up, go to work, and do your best with every day. Don't complicated hearts in the chat. Yeah, and that's why, you know, I want to travel, and we're going to travel and do that thing, so thank you, dude. And I know it's in slow mode right now. I'll, I'll take it out of slow mode for the next stream. I just wanted to not have the, a bunch of spam, you know. I just wanted a, a readable chat for, you know, the for today. So, <sighs> yo, this is... This is the worst service I've ever had. Where is a waiter? Yo, Ice, if we come over from Ireland, can we stay at yours for a couple of nights? Love you so much. Keep your head up, bro. Uh, no, because I don't want anyone to know my address, dude. I, I do not want people staying at my house, but thank you, dude. I appreciate it, homie. 
Maybe if it was like a couple months ago, sure, but not not right now. Someone's gonna fucking fucking kill my girlfriend and rob the house, dude, <laughs> or something. I don't know. Fucking, there's some weirdos, man, out there in the world. I mean, that's that's for sure. Remember the waitress you said big in Alaska? Those are good moments to focus on. Oh yeah, that was. I mean, that was good. That was a fun stream. I did enjoy that. That was that was good. Get lucky with the old dude. Uh, I don't, I don't think Kimberly would like that. Actually, she said I can get with other guys, and I said she can get with, with whoever she. Well, other girls. So maybe that's a thing we could do. Go hit on the old man. The old man doesn't want any of me near him, though, let's be real. <laughs> it's not a cuck, dude. I want my girlfriend to get with other girls. I'd be okay with that, as long as I can be there. I have to be there, though. It, like, otherwise, I'd be insecure. I'm not actually going to get with other guys, though, obviously, so... I'm not bisexual. Not whoever she wants. I misspoke when I said that, obviously. Other females, other girls. So tell us about Snoopy. How have you been teaching him anything? Uh, so I have a, I have a cage, and whenever I leave the house or go to sleep, I put him in the cage, um, and then I take him out to the bathroom. I go, I take him for a walk to go to the bathroom, and I take him out of the cage, and then he, uh, you know, roams around the house all day. But when I leave the house, I put him in the cage because it's uh, it's called kettle kettle training or something. I don't know kennel training. Right. It's yeah, like you put them in a cage so they don't poop in the house and they poop outside. You give them a treat and they poop outside and you know it's 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 good. Yo, I'm about to go to another restaurant because like what, what the hell. Crate training usually for puppy, puppies. Well, he's like a year old. And he's not. He's not potty trained, so he's still. He's not a puppy anymore, but he's a year old. So, you look like hell, Paul, dude. I, man, I got these bags. Like I've been, I've been having a long week. That's for fucking sure. All right, I'm gonna like ask them for some food, dude. I don't want to get fast food. I'm not like I. I haven't had fast food. All week, I haven't Bro, had, if you need some shrooms or DMT, I've been, I got you. I've been trying to Heat eat my Twitter at Fumiculo. Because eating, eating unhealthy ain't going to do nothing for me. Uh, no, not sucking to nobody, but listen, I, I don't worry. I don't need shrooms or DMT, but thank you, dude. I appreciate that. This is fast food. Well, I mean, this isn't the healthiest food, but I can just Make the it. appointment for the IV transfusion the tomorrow or before you go to Canada. Once you try it one time, you will understand the importance of your physical body slash health. It will make you a new person. Well, I've had vitamin B IVs before. They don't really do anything. It's like $300 and you don't really... They don't do anything. Like, I didn't feel any different from it. So, I don't know, dude, but I mean, I could try it, I guess. I made like a blood transfusion or something, dude. Am I losing weight? No, I'm still the same way. I'm like 160 pounds. 160 Your ideas pounds. are the best. Can we get the overlays again with the hate travel streams, please? They were so innovative. A CX Ninja Warrior event in Austin would be great. I do want to throw more events, but like I said, I gotta get, my, I gotta get myself out of, the, out of the rut first. Um, I want to get myself out of a rut, we're good. Yeah, when we go to Canada, I'll put the overlays on the screen. It'll be good, um, which is nice. By the way, I probably should explain this. So I do have a new sponsor. It is uh, in the chat. I'm gonna put it in Discord as well. I'm gonna link it in Discord. It's uh, it's an app on Android. It's come. It's on the iPhone yet, yeah, but it's an app on Android. It's called DibDab. Um, it's reputable. It's uh, Streamlabs actually made the app. It's basically just a clip. It's an app for clips. You 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 want to clip something? You put it in. You clip it with the app. You put it in the app, and then people can upvote the clips. It's essentially Reddit, but it's its own app. Um, now the difference is, when if your clip gets the most upvoted for the day, you get a hundred dollars. Not by me, but Streamlabs pays you a hundred dollars through DibDab if your clip gets number one for the day. So if you make good clips every day, um, you can get a hundred dollars a day doing literally nothing. 
but you have to, you know, get the, you, the, your clip has to be the most upvoted one. So, um, just throwing it out there. And before people say like some stupid shit, there's other streamers that are also sponsored by the same thing, so it's reputable. Um, and I know since we're banned on live stream fails, it's a good sponsor, you know? Because now people can like post clips somewhere and actually get something out of it, like money. If you come in second place, then you get $50, and third place you get $25, or I don't really, I think something like that. I just know you, you, it's very easy to get money on the app. And then they obviously get like downloads and shit out of it too, so. I have you hang with Mitch? Uh, I have not. Yo, I'm gonna ask for a waitress. This is insane. Excuse me. Yes. Can I get a. Sorry. Sorry. No, you're good. Sorry, we had to relieve him. I forgot about No, you're, you're good. Can, can, I get I just, you? can I just get a bottle of water and. You don't have a bottle of water, but I'm gonna give you a cup of water. Is it from the sink? Um, yeah, it's the sink and then the soda fountain. Okay? So, technically they all come from the same position. Uh, do you have vitamin water? No, we have carbonated water. Which is still coming from the same soda fountain, so technically... Okay, I'll just get a, bottle, a cup of water then. Alright. And, uh... Do you need a menu? No, and can I get... Sorry, I'm trying to be healthier. Oh, uh, salad's really good. I'm trying to Grilled be chicken. I'm trying to stay sane at the same time though. Grilled chicken on it? Or um, there's a nine grain hearty breakfast. It's um, egg whites. Oh, we could do a fit slam. Um, it's egg whites, spinach, tomatoes, uh, turkey, bacon, fruit. And then we could sub out the English muffin for um, pancakes if you want. If you don't want it. Those aren't healthy. Hey, well, the, the rest of it is. <laughs> okay, I'll just get 12. Over easy eggs. Alright. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Sounds good, I'm putting it in. Thank you. Eggs are good for you. And 12 is like. gonna fill me up, so. because eggs don't really fill me up, so it's like, it's good. Uh, the guys write about vitamins for brain food, energy, coconut oil, fish oil. Ginger helps with vitality and energy. Vitamin C if your gums bleed. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I should just take a multivitamin, but I hear those are just kind of scary. Yo, just go talk to staff and be charming so they don't kick you out. They probably don't know you need service. And that's what I did. Thank you. My oh yeah, my cholesterol is gonna shoot. That up. one guy's right about vitamins for brain food and energy, coconut oil and fish oil. Ginger helps for vitality and energy. Vitamin C if your gums bleed. Turmeric and black pepper to activate. It has good good fats. Awesome good. shirt, dude. Want to explain what protein. it is to all these normies and what your thoughts on this show and movie are? Uh. Would you what? like all expenses paid vacation to Mykonos with show Kim and, and visit Temple of Poseidon? We go with private yacht and stay what? at a show beautiful villa for 10 days. You deserve a holiday. Love, Alex. Okay, thank, Don't thank you, Don't get B12. Alex. You need a vitamins blend with glutathione. God damn it, trust my message. I can't stand to see you suffer. I cry tears of joy when I hear you say you want to be healthy, but for a boost. All right, vitamins blend with glutathione. I will remember that, because, like, I do want to be healthier, because I have, I've noticed when I see myself climbing upstairs, I want to pass out. I, uh... You know, we were climbing up a, a parking garage the other day, me and my girlfriend, and uh, I climbed up one story of stairs, and I got lightheaded and, like, out of breath. And I'm like, wow, I'm unhealthy as hell. I need to stop. I need to fix something, or I'm going to fall over and die. Don't listen to these people's supplements are not absorbed through your stomach efficiently. Take the IV transfusion. I, I'll look into it. I don't know, like... I'm, what you mean, IV transfusion? Like, that seems... I've... Uh, that seems scary. But I've done IVs before, so I'll give it a try. They're just... They're very expensive, and they didn't do anything for me, so... 
Yeah, I need to run, dude. I need to. I need to. I need. To, I, need to, I don't exercise, dude. The past week, I've laid in my fucking bed. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't really done much. I'm on my phone trying to look for an office, and then that's it. Like, I have not done shit. But you know, like, I've been in my bed most of the week. Not all of the week, but most of the week, which is like terrible. So. Do research on the keto diet. It's everything you love. All meats such as steak with double butter or all keto? the eggs you want in blocks of cheese. Bro. The perfect diet. No. I feel amazing on it. Research I it now. No, I will have no energy to do anything. If I was on keto, I would have no carbs. So I, I would I would have no energy and I I don't need to lose weight. That's like for people. Ten to acres, ten weight. acres, ten acres, ten acres, ten acres, ten You know, I don't I don't need to lose weight or anything. So I, I think I'm okay on that. What I need is high amounts of carbs, high amounts of, tr of protein, and trans fat. That's what I need. Hey, bro, I know you won't see this. I'm proud of you being strong enough to go through everything. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that, homie. You don't need IV transfusions. transfusions. All you need is heroin. You take this. You feel good. Resolves all your problems. Smile. I mean, heroin would make me feel better, but let's be real, I'd probably die. Eventually. Ice, can we get a stream in the bat caves outside of Austin? That's an easy, wholesome stream, and reactions would be hilarious. An alternative would be one of the crazy water parks. Stream giant well, slides. Well, water parks would just ruin, they'd, they'd break my, my stream because of water, but I didn't know there were bat caves. I, I'll look into it. I don't know if there's internet there, but I could definitely look into that. I wanted to go shooting with Kimberly as like for a stream, so maybe tomorrow me and Kimberly go shooting uh, at a gun range because we we're gonna buy a gun anyways for like for our house for self defense if fucking somebody breaks in our house. So I think it'd be interesting if we, uh, I don't know, I like went shooting with her and then we picked the gun out. I, I did a lot of research on guns. I think a Mossberg 500 is what we're gonna go for uh, for home self for like home defense. It's a very easy gun to shoot. And, you know, it's a buckshot, so it just goes everywhere. You don't even have to aim it, really. So, I think that's what we'll do. Obviously, Kimberly's never shot a gun, so I need her to... I, I, need, to, I need to get her to, like, used to it or something so she doesn't kill herself. And a Mossberg's only, like, $200. Like, it's mad cheap. I Steve EG, I could take him, but he's got... I think he works during the week, so... Use a bird shot, buck shot, destroy the house. To be honest, if somebody breaks in our house and they are trying to rob us and attack us, ruining the house with a buck shot is the least of my worries. Like, let's be real. Whether It doesn't matter what kind of caliber I have. The house is going to have, you know, holes in the wall anyway, so... Like, fuck it, dude. I want whatever protects me from a fucking burglar. But, you know, it'll be an interesting stream, I think, as well, so that'll be good. Maybe, maybe we won't get a shotgun, I don't know. We'll just see what, what the gun store has tomorrow when we go there and we, uh, we shoot some stuff. Because obviously, I've never shot a Mossberg, I don't know how it feels. I don't know how easy, like, it needs to be something that's easy. If somebody breaks in my house, I grab it, I fucking, you know, easy. As opposed to, like, getting all, like, stumbling and shit, so... If a burglar has a gun too, you have to play dead. Uh, no, if a burglar has a gun too, I hide in my room, call the police, and you know have the gun in my hand. And if he comes in the room, then hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Get a fucking omelet. I like over easy eggs. They're easy to eat. I can get, I can eat a lot of them really quick. So. Can't go wrong with a Glock. The thing about pistols is I'm not a good shot, and I know I'm going to miss. Therefore, I, like, I don't, I just, I, I, if I miss all my shots, like, what the fuck is that going to do for me, you know what I mean? I'm glad your attitude towards firearms has changed. No, I mean, they really have it. My attitude towards firearms are exactly the same. Nice shirt, brother. Oh, thanks, dude. Um... It's just I need one for home defense, since I live in a state where everyone has one, so. 
That's weird. I did not suspect that big old that, that big old Daytona guy to be like a Tokyo Ghoul fan. That is incredible. <laughs> that dude was straight country, big ass country dude. He's like he knows Tokyo Ghoul, bro. It's uh some anime, dude. I wonder how long these eggs are going to take. I mean, over easy eggs don't take long to make at all, so. You just like the look? I mean, maybe. I don't know, dude. If I were to bring someone to Canada with me, what would you guys suggest? Now, I think... Now, I wanted to bring Gary, because I actually genuinely enjoy his company. And I don't want to just bring somebody that will just be the most drama content. I want somebody who I genuinely enjoy being around. Because this is the road to, you know, getting me out of my funk. So I need somebody who's gonna, you know, be fun to hang around. Like, I don't want somebody who's just like... Like, I don't think EBZ will get me out of my funk. You know what I mean? Like, he's a cool dude. I don't think I don't think he would get me out of my funk though. Sam is actually in Vancouver right now. I had no idea. He messaged me and he's like, "Are you going to Vancouver?" And I'm like, "I'm like, I was thinking maybe. I don't know." He's like, "I'm already there." And I'm like, "Oh, that's interesting." So that's uh, very incredible odds. But I think it'll end up just me doing my own thing, just because I think Gary's gonna be busy until July. Or like, not busy, but we have somebody who's like willing to pay for a trip for us, and you know, obviously he would go during that time instead of paying for his own trip and then going again. Thank you, Austin, I appreciate that, homie. Bring Lucha. Yo, Lucha won Adam 22's competition thing, so shout out to N. Gary. So Who cares about the water? Great job. You're the king at innovating. Figure out a waterproof setup. Caves are awesome, just bring spotlight. I do need a waterproof. Tons trail. of caverns outside Austin to explore. Wildlife safari good too. Thank bring you. Lucha. Do you need any Tabasco? Yeah, some Tabasco would be nice. Thank you. Oh, this is incredible. Yeah. Sorry to keep bringing this up, but you cannot forget to take the IV transfusion. The longer you wait, the higher the chances information slash opportunity will get lost. Fast and efficient health boost. Thank you. I thank you. I I will uh, I'll look into it. The IV transfusion. I'll just type in IV transfusion on Google. I guess I don't really know. Get a little bit of Tabasco on this motherfucker. Um. Yeah. Lucha and Gary. Great great EBZ job. will slap the funk out of you. <laughs> That's funny. He probably would. Um. Yo, yeah, EBZ is doing a show very soon. Uh. So. I'm excited to see a show. I don't know when it is, I forgot, but shout out to that. Y'all should check that show out when it happens. Um, now, with, uh, I'm curious to see how Lucha does on Adam 22's show. Like, new, like, podcasting he's doing. It'll be very interesting. And by the way, Adam, did not turn my back on nobody, okay? The only thing I turn my back on is Dirty Hose. <laughs> I like these eggs. They're runny. Well, that's the point. The runnier the eggs are, the less they fill you up. And I like the yolks. The yolks taste really good. So basically, I can get a large amount of protein and, you know, everything that the eggs can give me that are good for you. And I can get a lot of it at once because I can eat a shitload without getting full. Eggs are the only food that do that. Like, if I had rice or something, I would get so full before I get the same amount of carbo, uh, like macronutrients that an egg can provide. Ah, 
anything for views? What do you mean, Rainbow? What are you talking about? Uh, th thank you, dude. Yeah, one day. Australia. Meet up with Chad. That's where you're flying. Ever come to South Texas? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll probably go to San Antonio one day. That's about it. Ice you driving to Canada? If so, you should drive to Wisconsin. I would like to meet maybe Milwaukee. No, I'm not driving to Canada. Fuck that. That'll take forever, dude. I'm taking a flight. It's $150. And it's like a... How long is a flight from Austin to, to Vancouver and then Austin to Quebec? Vancouver's probably, what, like a five-hour flight? And then Quebec's probably, like, what, an eight-hour flight? Because Quebec's way the hell, like, over by New York, so... God damn it, I see the freaking vegetable for the love of Christ. Broccoli, broccoli, cabbage, think of your asshole. Dude, fuck vegetables, this shit's gross. Actually, for the past week, not only have I just been drinking water, but I've also been on a, uh, on a fruit-only diet. Like, sort of. Like, you know, mostly fruit. Like, I've had other things besides fruit, too, because I get, you know... Fruit don't really fill me up, and I still get hungry, but I've been eating a lot of fruit. A lot, a lot of fruit. Um... I wanted to make my semen taste better, um, because it tastes like shit recently, from what I've heard. But two, mainly, because, you know, it makes you feel good. It, like, makes you feel energetic and stuff, so... The only problem with that is I get, I'm just hungry all day. Recently, I have not. No, I, I have not, unfortunately, but maybe one day. At RuneFest, I'll probably see him during like October or something, right? Oh, dude, these eggs are good. Low vitamin and low protein. Pro. What? Yeah, I mean, eggs have macronutrients. I don't know. I mean, there's no vitamins in eggs, but. When I get home, I'm going to eat, like, strawberries and raspberries and a banana, and that's where I get my vitamins from. Oh, excuse me, that was disgusting, dude. Eat something green. Dude, I hate vegetables. They're gross. I don't know. I mean, I don't need vegetables to be healthy, you know? Fruit and stuff is fine. That the eggs will metabolize as fat. Well, I hope they do, cause bro, I'm mad. I'm I'm mad skinny right now. Look at this. I'm 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 not very like skin. I'm not very <laughs> muscular or anything, dude. I don't have anything. I just showed my nipples to this whole restaurant. I should not do that. I don't eat my own, I don't eat my own semen. I was like, other people have told me that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wesley, no. You did not. documentary is still gonna come out it's uh i don't know when but it's supposed to come out soon like sort of like within a couple months i guess these are the plates right now this is what we have left so that one's gone 
This one has one egg left. I, I'm fucking full. I don't, or two eggs left. I'm full. I don't want to eat it. Ten eggs is more than enough. I don't need 12 eggs. Ten is more than enough. Show us all the 12 pages of the warrant. Uh, I mean, that's old news at this point. I have tweeted out the warrant, the, the search warrant before. The fact that I have my stuff back should prove something to you. What happened with the butlers? I don't know what happened with Nigel, but I know Luke... Was Hyphonix cool towards you? I liked when you were on streams together. Yeah, Hyphonix is good. I told him, uh, the last thing I said to him was how he can get his computers back. And I told him to email this, this contact and that was about it. I should, uh, I should, uh, start working out again, but in due time. But it cost you 25k? What did? I don't know. EBC wants to go to Canada with you? <laughs> if anyone does go with me, I cannot pay for them. They have to pay for themselves. I, I can only pay for myself. I, I cannot fund the trip for anybody. To get a lawyer? Oh, um, no, I didn't need a lawyer for the FBI stuff. Like, I did put one on retainer, but I never actually used any of the services. Um, so, he did some work for me, but, like, not, not really anything else. Because I was just told by the contact that I had that, uh, it's all good, so... To my knowledge, no one is in trouble from that, from that whole raid, so, I don't, whatever that one dude told you guys... Hey, Gary, does this mean I can't be your assistant? I, I would know. still like to apply for the fluffer position you told me about. What is, who is Gary and does this mean I can't be your assistant? Listen, vodka, Andy, I gotta just focus on my own stuff right now, but... Sorry, man. You know, we'll see how stuff goes, though. It's because you can't afford the trip or you don't want to. I, I do not want to pay for someone's trip. Yes, I do not want to pay for someone's trip. <laughs> uh, I told myself that I was going to focus on myself, so... You know, I would like to go on a trip with somebody, but I do not want to pay for them because I'm still focusing on myself. So. Man, go back to your old roots playing RS and games. Your new viewers literally ruined you. I mean, hey, I, I play games sometimes. But when I play the games, nobody likes it. Everyone says I'm bad at the games. Well, it's kind of awful, but it's fine. Thank you, Nash Vlog. Appreciate it, homie. Can you play RuneScape tonight? I, I mean, I could, but I don't uh, think anybody wants RuneScape talk. <laughs> Besides, like, 2,000 people or less. I watch any game that isn't an MMO. Well, I don't really have any games I like right now. I'm waiting on Crash Nitro Field, uh, which is the Crash Team Racing Remaster. I'll play the fuck out of that when it comes out, because that's going to be online. So until then, I'm really just... It's RuneScape and Mortal Kombat. Those are my two games right now. But I do like kart racing games. So, you know, Mario Kart I think is kind of shitty, though. So I'm waiting for this other one. Am I going to play The Last of Us 2 online? I am. When the game comes out, I will most certainly play that. You know, in The Last of Us 1, my level on multiplayer was 400. I was level 400 on multiplayer. So I played the fuck out of The Last of Us 1. And I was really good. 
I had the Frontier Rifle, I'd shoot him once with that, then I'd switch to the Revolver and finish him off, do a combo. Easy kills, dude. Alright, let me pay. It's gonna, take, it's gonna take 20 minutes to pay for the bill here now. Yeah, I saw the new DLC for uh, MK11. Since you got your computer back, can you please try Rust again? Please, it was hilarious, and now you won't have problems streaming it. Shang please Shang do it tonight, it is content. Shang Tsung's a shit character, though. I don't. I, that should've been someone else. Sindel's good, though. Um, I, I don't really want to play Rust again. Rust is just gonna end up with me trapped somewhere getting stream sniped. That's all Rust is, is gonna you do. You ever try Overwatch? People just, people just gonna stream snipe me and say the N word. Uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready, take it up from here. Right. Okay, I can have water then, yeah, that's fine. Twelve eggs, ten dollars. Good shit. Alright, yo, let's go. Did you good on everything? Yeah, I'm good. Thank, thank you. I do not like Overwatch. <laughs> Overwatch is so bad. <laughs> I think Overwatch is one of the worst shooter games I've ever I've ever played. Hi. Um I think Overwatch is worse. Damn you're honest and no callers. What a turnaround for the day. Have you seen any new tech stuff or games you're interested in lately? I saw the new Oculus with no wires. Our stream, maybe? I'd be down for an AR stream. We've already sort of done that. I mean, we have VR helmets that are wireless at the house. They're not Oculus Rift, but they're an Oculus Mobile, or I forgot what it's called. It, it, Oculus Go or something. Yeah, we have those. They're not very good though, because there's no controllers. They have, well, you have one controller, but it's not a gaming controller. You can buy 50 eggs for $10 at Walmart. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're right, but hey, I got the chill, and I, have to I didn't have to make them, so it's fine. Here you go. Oh, here's the receipt for the bill. Look at this. You guys want to see my new debit card? I have a Disney Princess debit card. It's, it's Frozen. Is it? Yeah. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. And I'm like, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of this, and that's gonna be my debit card. IV transfusion will give you major improvements fast. Eating healthy diet will come later. Oh, thank you. If you are brave enough to connect with me, I have more valuable info to share. We can simply email. <laughs> Love the humility. Glad to see you taking care of yourself first. They have never seen somebody ask if they want to leave a tip. That's <laughs> that's funny. Okay, uh, yo, I'll look into the trans the, the transfusion, dude, because that seems interesting. Love the humility. The humility, glad. Thank you, dude. Okay, th thank you, babe. Appreciate it, homie. I'm attempting. All right, we're gonna go home then. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I'll go on the computer when we get home then, and then we can just figure out something, I guess. Um, so I'm not gonna stream driving home. Obviously, it's a stupid, retarded ass decision. So. We're going to just go there. <clears throat> and we'll figure it out, okay? But, uh, yeah. Alright, I will uh, see you guys home. And then we can decide like where we're going to travel and stuff or something. Or other shit. But, okay. I'll see you guys at home. Alright, see you soon. Please, just please show me how not to be depressed. I mean, I'm working on it myself. <laughs> so, just uh, we'll work on it together, I guess. Uh, okay. 